Hi everybody, it's Julie. I am here with the next installment of our May Mayhem 2020 Junk Journal Challenge Elements. So today our challenge is a top tuck with insert. We are to use stenciling, metal, and a game piece. So I have chosen, my top tuck is going to be a pocket with an insert that goes inside of it. And so we are going to get right on that. Hi everybody, I'm Julie. I'm the CEO and Queen Creator at Dear Julie Julie and Dear Julie Julie DIY. I post lots of crafty videos and here on this channel we are mostly about junk journaling. So building a journal out of junk and other things that you might have hanging around. So today we are going to be making a top tuck. It is an element that I like to use in my journals because sometimes when I make things I like you know the bottom is the bottom of the card or the tag is what's pretty and this way it goes up and it just gives a different interest a different look we are going to go ahead and jump right in so if you're new to my channel I do a challenge each month and this month we are all about May Mayhem and that is we went ahead and chose these game pieces okay elements out of our little thing here and everybody's doing the same thing this month uh, the challenge deadline is May 31st so there's plenty of time to join us if it sounds like something that you'd like to check out the details videos in the description box down below so let's get right to this I have taken one of the envelope um, pieces from the French 1919 French Fashionista Digital Kit. It's available in my Etsy shop, and that's what I'm using for this um, this challenge journal. I did give this digital as a gift to the last group of people that finished their journals, which was the March group. So, um, so they got this digital kit. It's over 40 files, and they got it as their gift for finishing their journal. So let's go ahead. This is also one of the pages from the digital kit. Um, I think this is part of the mini journal kit, mini digital. Okay, so I am going to make a pocket. That's what I'm doing here. I'm cutting out my my image and I even want to go across the bottom here so it's all in French <laughs> and I am going to go ahead and I have pulled this out you might remember this file folder piece from a previous video and I really liked these um, lines down at the bottom so I want to keep those and I do need to to go ahead and this does need to be cut down okay even I'm making a larger journal but it still still is going to need to be cut down I'm going to go ahead and use the glue stick to put my digital picture copy on to my cardstock it's actually a file folder. Love to use office supplies in my junk journals. People give me office supplies when they're going through and cleaning stuff out. Some people have baskets at their house. It's a Julie basket. <laughs> they're saving their stuff for me. I don't know what's going to happen when, when we get to get together after being home for so long. We'll, we'll see. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and this is the ad, one of the ad pages from this journal kit. I just thought it would be a fun, different thing to use. Okay, so there is, there is, there is my, um, my base. And so we need to remember what we have to use. We have to use stenciling, metal, and game piece. 
Okay, so I don't think up here that I really need anything except for we could go ahead and use this game, this stencil. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my edge right at the edge of the paper. Okay, and then I'm going to use this and I'm going to block off that paper so I don't accidentally go up in it. And we'll go ahead and use, I use this cosmetic brush from Dollar General. It's my, my go-to stenciling tool and that's primarily because the other tools hurt my thumb. I, I get a cramp in my thumb so I, um, had seen somebody use some cosmetic brushes and when I was shopping I saw these at Dollar General and I went oh and I brought home one I tried it I distressed a whole bunch of stuff and my thumb didn't hurt and I was like oh yes okay so there we have added a nice edge to our to our top tuck and I'm going to go ahead and put my, this is a sticky stencil, which they are really great um, so that they don't move around while you're working with them. So let's put that where it goes. And, um, okay, we're going to come back to this. I'm going to let it dry and we'll come back to that. So next I have a bridge tally card. And I'm actually going to take a few of them. Okay, so we'll take a few. Put the thing back. So this is our game piece. And then I also have this envelope. And this was this is from the digital kit. I've already um, cut it out. Save us some time. Here we go. And I'm trying to figure out where it's supposed to bend at on that one. I couldn't tell. Okay, there we go. Okay. So this gives us an envelope. And I'm going to want it to, it's also going to be a, a top tuck. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this flap down. Okay, so we're going to glue this flap down. And then we're going to glue this edge. Make sure she's upright. Yeah. Okay, I don't want, I want that to go over. So we're just going to glue this to this. Okay, so let's go ahead and just add some glue right here. Just like that. Okay, I want this because I want this to flip over. Okay, and okay, so this is another type of top tuck right there that we're making because I'm going to have this will come come out down there. Go ahead and do that. Make sure that this is closing. Okay. Then I'm going to take my game piece here. I'm going to take this and put it over the top. Flip it up. And I'm going to attach this.
and let's see. Well, we'll just go with two on this side. And come over here, make sure we're And two on this side. Okay, so that is my game piece. We have our stenciling here. This is going to be our top tuck game piece. So we'll pull this, you pull this out, and you've got this, and you have your notepad. Okay? So, and then you also have a little place back here that you can add, add items. So let's go ahead, and we need metal. And so I thought could actually use some metal so I have a bulb pin and I have a cute little key charm and one of these pieces of broken jewelry it's a bracelet I broke it on purpose I bought it to break it but still it's broken jewelry okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and Add this down here. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. So I'm going to add the bulb pin down here, and that will give me my metal. It's also a little pull that we'll be able to pull from down at the bottom. Okay, so. Uh, next, we are going to go ahead and distress this because we have been distressing things and I don't want to... have it look like it doesn't belong. But we're going to just lightly distress it, okay? Just... And you can go ahead and distress the others underneath as, if you like as well. There, I think that's I think that's good. Go ahead and distress this. Usually I would have ripped that out, but I wanted all of the ad to show up. Just go around, 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 around. Okay, so metal game piece and stenciling. So we've done all of our parts. Now let's make it cool. Okay, so we have our washi tape that we've been using. Okay, we'll go around the corner. And we have her down under. I'm thinking a pair. So we haven't had the young the young girls show up. And they are part of the duets. And I had them put into the, the kit to be a pocket. So this could actually could be a pocket if we wanted it to. And I think 
we'll put them there. Let's go ahead and add just a little bit of the chalk that we've been adding. Just a little bit. Okay, so I've been adding this decorator chalk. And I, pr I brought the sidewalk chalk in and forgot to bring it into the craft room. So we are going to try sidewalk chalk and see how it works because I've had people asking and I it was kind of funny because I was doing the laundry and reached up to get the fabric softener and there was sidewalk chalk and I went oh I should try that and then today and I had gotten it out and brought it in the house but um, and then today somebody in the in the um, chat during the premiere asked about sidewalk chalk. And I was like, oh, that's really funny because I just brought some in. But I brought it in the house but not in the craft room. Okay, so we've got a little bit of purple. We'll add just some purple to this one. Be careful. The purple is... Can be very vibrant. Okay, and after I've got it on there, then I go ahead and add, let it come off of them a little bit. I like that it adds that little bit of purple and blue to the background. Um, you can also add color to their cheeks. If I had my Q-tip in here, I would do that, but I don't have it with me, and I'm not gonna, not gonna, not gonna risk it. Okay, so I have from the, you recognize that? That is from the tag, these little corners. And I'm going to add those to the corners. Let's go ahead and put this on. You can back it with something else if you want, book page. Um, I'm just gonna just gonna put them down. So this and this is something you can do and have if your book is already ready, you can make it and put it right in. My book is not ready, you guys. Um, I want to get. I wanted to get a couple of the videos ready because um, I, I need to go to town. <laughs> um, so, okay, so there they are. I really like that. And then, of course, we've been using our washi tape like crazy because because we can. And just add the pieces. To it and that can be our top tuck right there I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut this edge off unless we were to go ahead and add some of the washi up there as well and I'm gonna go ahead I don't need it to be a very big strip so I'm gonna go ahead and rip it so I can use this strip and I can use it right here on our game piece on the edge okay and I'm going to use the straight side and line it up to the edge here and then I'm going to lift it and put it over to the other side that 
gives me my top tuck. So now putting this into the journal, I'll go ahead and add my glue in a U shape or you know, on the three edges. Then it'll go into the top part of the journal and my insert will fit right up in there and that's what you'll see on the page. And I absolutely love it. I think I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of Paris down here. Okay, so we got a little bit of Paris down here. And okay, so and then I want to add something across right there. So I love that this is my favorite washi. I know I've said that before, but it is. It's my favorite. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We have our stenciling, our game piece, and our metal. We used the envelope from the 1919 French Fashionista digital kit, added an avocado dyed tag, and the way that we put our envelope, we used the flap here. We glued that flap down and glued those two together. So that gave us an opening. So it's kind of like, okay, so this is, this is a, t a top tuck, technically. I mean, you're, it's going up into it. So I guess this might be a double top tuck. <laughs> Okay, so there we go, and this is how that will go into my journal, okay? So um, if you are interested in joining us in the May Mayhem 2020 Junk Journal Challenge, the details videos in the description box down below. The deadline is May 31st, 2020, so you still have plenty of time to join us, and we'd love to have you. We do a two premieres on our channel um so if you like this kind of stuff make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell so that youtube can they might tell you <laughs> probably <laughs> when the videos go up and since we've been having trouble with that i now have a schedule and at 10 30 every day we premiere a video and the premiere means that I'm able to be live in the chat, chat and hang out with you and answer questions. And um, where with a regular live video, I'm actually concentrating on crafting. And it's really hard to pay attention to both. So um, I love this format of premieres. So we do one at 1030 in the morning. And that is our challenge video. So our monthly challenge video or other um, junk journal and crafty videos and our four o'clock during the week, our weekday four o'clock Pacific standard time video is our beginners junk journal series. And we are just about finished with our cereal box journal and we'll be moving on into our reader's digest journal and then the little golden book. We'd love to have you join us there. Lots of ideas. Some of it repeats things that you've seen before, but some, even some of the longtime journal people have gotten some, some new ideas from that. So premieres are a lot of fun. We get to hang out, uh, share menus, <laughs> recipes, laugh, cry. Um, it's, it's, actually a really really awesome thing that we are able to do so that is 10 30 pacific standard time in the morning and four o'clock in the afternoon so i want to thank you for being here if you're here for the premiere hi everybody i'm waving <laughs> and if you just joined us for the first time i want to welcome you and tell you that i am so glad you're here and i hope that you will speak up and let us know that you're here and um it's a great community so find something to celebrate every day don't forget to subscribe <laughs> don't forget to watch these videos up here there's some suggestions um because if you go watch another 
you video after this one. YouTube really likes that. Have an amazing day. Bye. Bye-bye.